Welcome back to Running Shoes Guru. My name's Brandon, and today I'm reviewing a Brooks shoe, the Glycerin 19. Some brands believe that change is good. However, Brooks believes in consistency. And their bestsellers like the Ghost and the Glycerin only receive minor changes to each update. The Glycerin has been using the same DNA loft midsole foam since version 16, with only very subtle changes in midsole foam density. Version 19 of the Glycerin still uses DNA loft foam but it's a softer density than in version 18. It's got the same stack heights and remains the same price, which is $150. It's also exactly the same weight as version 18, which is 10.2 ounces for a men's standard US 9. In the Brooks cushion category, the Glycerin is the big brother to the insanely popular Ghost. The big differences are that the Ghost has a combination of DNA loft and Biomogo in its midsole, while the Glycerin has a full length DNA loft midsole. The Glycerin also has a more premium, more comfortable upper than the Ghost. From a design perspective, the Glycerin 19 almost looks exactly the same as the Glycerin 18, and they both remind me of a dad shoe. The Glycerin 18 has some extra diagonal lines on its midsole which the 19 doesn't have. But apart from that, it's very difficult to tell them apart on the road. When I put the Glycerin 19 on for the first time, my feet were met with a plush, slipper-like fit. There was also plenty of step in comfort thanks to the thick Ortholite sock liner. On my first run, it didn't feel special or groundbreaking in any way, but it just felt very natural and very cushioned with a signature glycerin ride. What stood out the most for me was how much smoother it felt than the Ghost 13 and any previous glycerin. The best word to describe how the Glycerin 19's midsole feels is padded. It's medium soft in density and it has nowhere near the levels of squish of say a Nimbus 23 or a Clifton 7, but it's soft enough to make the ride comfortable and to absorb impact. Easy paces are what the Glycerin 19 was designed for and what it feels best doing. Now steady paces below 5 minutes 30 per kilometer are doable, but you'll have to work a little bit harder because of the weight of the shoe and because of the lack of decent responsiveness. The Glycerin 19 rides really, really smooth. And it's one of the smoothest riding max cushion trainers on the market because of its single density midsole and its outsole configuration. The outsole uses plenty of soft, blown rubber. Brooks prefers using the softer type of rubber because it increases ground feel and it makes landings softer. But the downside is that this rubber wears down faster than the norm. And on my pair, on the outer lateral heel area, it's already worn down two to three millimeters. And I expect to reach midsole foam by the time I reach only 300 kilometers, which is not ideal. The biggest difference between the outsoles of the Glycerin 18 and the Glycerin 19 is this long piece of rubber on the medial side that extends from the rear foot all the way to the end of the midfoot. And what this long piece does is it makes ride transitions smoother and it also increases midfoot stability and structure because there's less flex in the midfoot. I found grip and traction in the Glycerin 19 outstanding. This softer type of rubber is more tacky than the really hard, durable rubber. Brooks never holds back when it comes to the upper of the Glycerin because it's supposed to be their plushest, most premium training shoe. The upper of the Glycerin 19 felt so good 
that it was as if it was designed specifically for my feet. It fits true to size and the plush mesh molds to your feet. The heel collar is generously padded and the heel counter is very stout to keep your heel locked in. The entire inner lining of the shoe is really smooth and soft to the touch. The main feature of the upper is the fully gusseted tongue that all glycerins have and that not even the Ghost 13 has. But the best part of the upper is the overall foot lockdown. Foot lockdown is so good and so secure that I don't even have to do heel lock lacing. I can confidently say that the Glycerin 19 is an improvement over the Glycerin 18. The softer midsole is a step in the right direction and ride transitions are also smoother. These improvements don't add in weight which is also a bonus. Now compared to other max cushion trainers, the Glycerin 19 is firmer but it's also more stable because there's less lean bias. Outsole durability is below average. So it's not a durable workhorse that can do over a thousand kilometers of running. However, the one area where the Glycerin 19 beats all other Max Cushion trainers is its magnificent upper, which is an engineering masterpiece. Thanks for watching the review. Let us know down in the comment section below what your experience has been with the outsole durability of the Glycerin series. Please remember to like the video and subscribe to Running Shoes Guru.